Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. The Del Mar Thoroughbred Club summer meeting is into its second week, and on Saturday, things really heat up. The Grade 2 San Diego Handicap conducted at a mile and a 16th over the main track, and there are two heavyweights set to prep for the Pacific Classic, but they will go at it as well on Saturday in the ninth race on a 10-race card. In the corner to your left, Bob Baffert, Kaleem Shaw's Dortmund, the big, big brown colt, will make his four-year-old debut. He had a great run in the Derby campaign last year. Was not as good as American Pharaoh, as we know, with a third-place effort in the Derby. Struggled in the slop and ran fourth in the Preakness. Then was on the shelf for quite some time with health issues. He returned in both the Big Bear at Santa Anita and the Native Diver at Del Mar at Odds On to get the job done. Health issues since. Good to see him back on the track. For the first time in some time, he will be tested, though, and he won't be the favorite. And that is because in the corner to your right, the 2014 Horse of the Year, the 2016 Dubai World Cup winner, and the odds on favor coming up on Saturday, that's number six, California Chrome. He'll be his first start in California since January at Santa Anita. Art Sherman, what a job he's done to have him at tip-top shape during his five-year-old campaign better than ever before after a disastrous four-year-old season. Espinosa will be up, should get a perfect tracking trip from his outside post. Boy, will he be tough to beat. Also coming off a short layoff, but has been training well, mostly at Los Alamitos. Then he had the big public work on Saturday at Del Mar. I expect a huge effort from Chrome. So how does the race shape up? Well, you've got Soy Fetra on the three hole, Dortmund to the two, Chrome to the six. Those will be the top three. I expect Gary Stevens to send Dortmund. Soy Fed, if fast enough, will be right up there as well because there's no way he's getting by these other runners in the lane. So it has to be as prominently placed as possible by Kent DeSormo. And then you have the champ, California Chrome, who will be right up off the pace where he likes to be on the outside. He is going to be real tough to beat. Then you've got number one, Hard Aces, the late runner. He was closer up last time in the Gold Cup. Finished well, but is outmatched by this group. Maybe an underneath finish. You also have the outside horse, Win the Space, who ran huge in the Gold Cup. But I see a regression in sight for this one. He's run two big races to start his campaign. I think I think it'll be he'll be very hard pressed to compete at this level. The wild card in here may be Follow Me Krev. This Vladimir Sarin train runner was real good in the in the winter and appeared to be one of the likely favorites in the in the big cap, but ran into trouble in terms of health and came back in the California at Santa Anita and did not fire. If this horse is right, he's probably third best in this group, but may sit a real nice trip and may be able to pass them all other than Chrome late if he fires. But I wonder if he's the same horse as he was. I hope so for Alonso Quinonez and Vladimir Sorin, but I'm not sure. Wild card, though, and the best chance to compete with the top two, in my opinion. And then you have the long shot Crittenden for Trey Ironhardy, totally outclassed in this spot. Probably hoping just to pick a third and fourth place checkup at best. So there you have it. Big day Saturday at Del Mar. Huge crowd should be out. The Chromies will be out in full force. Baffert must think Dortmund has something here. He wouldn't put him in this spot if not. They'll be ready for the Pacific Classic. We'll knock on wood. Hope they both stay healthy. We'll hope Beholder gets it done the next week, and we could have a Pacific Classic for the ages. So enjoy your weekend. If you're playing Saratoga, which starts Friday, enjoy and good luck there. Plenty of great racing other than that at Del Mar, including the San Clemente on the same card, a great three-year-old race for the on the turf. For Phillies, I expect that to be a much better wagering race. I'm not going to wager on the San Diego. I'm going to enjoy it and uh, hope you can enjoy it as well. Have a real good one. Good luck at the window.